it's Falcon here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Pyre. Let's play Pyre, I mean. <laughs> Oops. Um, anyway, to start things off, I just want to talk a, a bit about um, the length of the videos I've been um, uploading lately. As you guys may have noticed, they are definitely long. Maybe about 50 to 1 hour per episode. And I'll be trying my best to definitely shorten those videos in future uploads. Maybe about 20 to 40 minutes. I mean, depending on my current progress, of course. Uh, I, I don't want to deliberately stop somewhere just because my time is up, sort of. If you get what I mean. So, uh, yeah. But definitely I'll be trying my best to shorten my videos so as to make them a bit easier to consume since i usually upload two two to three videos per day and if they're all at least about 50 to an hour each then it would be definitely kind of boring so yeah that's all it for now uh, i just want to lengthen my intro or something like that so let's just continue with the game um anyway as usual, we're on the... What do you call this place again? Um, sa the Glade of Flu, if I remember correctly. So yeah, anyway, let's just commence the right. You and your fellow exiles arrived at the sacred right called the Glade of Lu. Yeah, I remember that correctly. And now look to the stars in the sky to signal the beginning of the next right. The woods about you bring a sense of tranquility you have not felt in some time. But then, you notice one of the trees move. It shuffles toward you and regards you with an ex exaggerated low bow. <laughs> well, goodness, by the roots of loose Chlorian, it would appear the rumors are correct. The Nightwings have returned. And I assume loose Chlorian is another scribe? Yep, known as the wise or the philosopher. Oh, but where are my manners, hmm? One moment. The sap claws at his mask and with his wispy fingers. Much better. <laughs> hey, nice haircut. Reminds me of, uh, what's his name again? From, yeah, uh, Kakyuin from Judge's Bizarre Adventure. In case you guys watch that as well. <laughs> Each manly tinder stuff at your service. Perhaps you've heard of me? No, I haven't. He is a psychophant, psychophant, who seems certain he will land the position of high standing once he is free. My fellows and myself, you perhaps know us as the Chastity. We soon shall stand against you in the in the rights. For now, I'm just whiling away the time, making small talk. Now then, as I have introduced myself, your turns. To whom am I speaking? Then in your mind's eye, you see Wolfred and hear his voice. Manly Tinderstaff is not to be trusted. Reveal neither yourselves to him nor me. Well, beneath her mask, Joe Daryl sta stares back at him in silence. He suspect Wolfred's message may have reached every member of the group. Why now? How very rude indeed. Well, fine. Ignore me, but you do so at your peril. And anyhow, once this evening's ride commences, any moment now, then I'm afraid ignoring me won't be an option any longer. Oh, and now I do believe the sky is beginning to show. We'll have to chat again some other time. Now come along, come along. Manly bows again and wanders off into a clearing as the stars begin to burn. Okay, next right begins. Every place we go to seems to be named after a scribe. Not sure if coincidence or a um, intended, unintended recurring part pattern of some sort. Again, the stars align themselves before you, reader. An 
here now at the glade of Liu. I have to say, Liu, okay. You've come so very far. But there are those, such as your adversaries called the Chastity, who have toiled for this too. They know that with their freedom comes great opportunity. It could be yours instead. Please show the Chastity that the Nightwings are superior. The host of the raid seems to be more friendly with us now. Maybe he is secretly rooting for us. I wonder, oh honored Nightwings, how well you know these woods. Why, these woods would strangle you, and I'm afraid I could do little to stop them even if I tried. You might do better to be to beware of them. When Jutariel continues to ignore him, he grows upset. Why you insolent? Then fine, let us begin the dance indeed. He shoves his mask back on in a huff. And allow me to thank you in advance for helping me return onto my proper station in the Commonwealth. Who shall conduct the right? My usual team, I guess. Edwin. I can't use um, Pamitha for now. Maybe because she's not she's not an official member of the group yet, sort of. It is done. I don't think that I like that manly very much because he keeps saying that we're rude, but I think that we're nice. Are you quite ready? Finally, oh Nightwings. May all those masks of yours ensure no harm should come to any of your lovely countenances. Now come along, come along, let's give the stars a show. And we'll do just that. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> May I present to you Humboldt Manly Jr. Humboldt. Manly Sapling, Sapling, which not only has a name but bears a similar posture and likeness to him. Why, he is every bit my equal and is poised to guarantee that Tinder stuff, the Tinder stuff line shall have a bright, bright future. He goes on and on about his Sapling for a while. We have got to shut him up already. I could not agree more. Now, isn't he just the most precious thing you've ever seen? Hmm? The sapling is nothing but an extension of man. If he is banished, the sapling should cease to trouble you as well. Manly and his offspring hold no small degree of influence within the Commonwealth breeder. There oh shit. Are many who would welcome his return, though none so much as he himself. Okay. So far so good. Oh, what's this? It seems the woods themselves are closing in upon our little soiree. And, oh, do be careful now. These grasping roots and vines, they may not hold you in such high esteem as I. Okay. More obstacles. Your adversary Manly is comfortable in this suffocating blade. Yet he longs now for the comfort of his commonwealth estate. Perhaps Let's go. Ought to be reserved or not. Why am Oh shit. Chaos. Uh... Okay, that's that easy. Two more steps, okay. Spectacularly oh dear, the woods are closing in. Uncomfortably close at that. Whatever shall we do? Perhaps if we just stand aside, aside a while, we could put an end to this that much the sooner. Obstacles. 
Say, have any of you noticed how it's feeling rather crowded out here, hmm? Almost as if the hundred minds himself resents you being here. Yes, I rather think that's it. Hundred minds? Oh, another... Oh, it's another name for... Uh, Luz Glorian, okay. So, cease with all your scurrying about with that damned orb and let me handle this. More summons? More obstacles? You sure you can handle me? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Damn. You don't. Too short of a jump. Ah! One more, one more. Okay, we. So it is. Last push. All right, you Nightwings. I've had it up here to. Uh, <laughs> I've had it up to here with you. Or perhaps I've simply had it up to here with all of these encroaching plants, these miserable things. Either way, I'll appreciate how you're ignoring me. Uh, we, we too much don't care. Now then. Anyway, I should I deal with this. Let's run over here. Jump! Oh shit! I overjumped, I guess. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Fine, yes, the night wings did prevail. A right conducted with a plum. The right is complete. Pretty much of an overkill there, <laughs> since their pyre, pyre already ha only has 10 HP and Judarial deals 30. <laughs> but anyway, we won. As usual, we did it. One step closer, everyone. Good. That imbecile of a sap. So much talk and hot hair. I knew we could prevail, though Master, Master, I mean Mr. Tinderstaff there, it, I think is really upset now. Well, my, my, my. Oh, worry not, oh Nightwings. I'm not angry with you, honestly. But I am very, 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 very disappointed, I thought. I thought, perhaps, that we had something going here between us. You scratch my back, I scratch yours and all. Instead, however, you decided to spit in my face. Fine, we'll have to see where all the rudeness gets you. Now, ta-ta! Always is there greater knowledge to be gained. No level ups. Perhaps level up, Dario okay. For your Dario. understands what it all means. Utter nonsense, all of this. That you have come this far. Fortune alone cannot be the cause. Okay, what should I level up next? Crashing heal when landing from a jump. The Daryl with stuns, nope. For 7 seconds, for saluting, nope. The Daryl permanently gains plus 4 presence, raising the. Okay. I'll, I prefer this to have a larger aura. This gives me much more fire health, which I don't need, I think. So, yeah, this one. She now stands closer to the scribes, the little moon touched girl. Another level up? I feel so overwhelmed, I think, because the scribes, they. I think they speak to me and lift me up whenever I begin to think that I am going to fall. And so, what should we choose? Should I quickly go for Dark Vigor? While grasping the orb, race sprints and jumps without using stamina. Yep, I'll be using this one. 
no other level ups for now. Until the stars align. That was well done, my boy. I am beginning to see why your companions vouch for you. Don't let it go to your head, of course. Okay, so another new mechanic. Well, at least I don't know if it's going to be unique with Tinder stove or if we'll be encountering it in future rights. But you know, enemy, the enemy summoning um, stationary units that also give off aura and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway, after besting the, the chastity in a con convincing manner. You return to your wagon to consider your next move. As far as they An adequate performance back there. Adequate? Yes, adequate for the next part of our plan. Go, have your reader there consult the stars. See where they take you next. I'll give you a hint. It's further north. It's going to be high up. Um, did this knight hear you say? High up? And it's going to be cold. We'll see. Come on, my friend. Let's have a look outside then. Okay, so we're going to be uh going to a peak of a mountain, maybe snow mountain. So yeah. Anyway, that plan Walfred mentioned. I just want you to know. I don't know what he means. We're here because we're going to be free again. We won't be living out our days as exiles. That's the only plan, as far as I'm concerned. But there's always a catch, right? We'll see what Walfred has to say. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. No matter what, we're getting closer thanks to you. Once more, you look toward the heavens. Let's go to our next destination. For the north. Oh, this is a pretty big star. What does that mean? Solium, ooh, Solium Moor. I remember him. The golden star shines bright over the highest mountain in all the downside. North, due northeast. So now you see it for yourself. You are summoned to the north where looms Mount Alodia. The secret mountain was summit, the rites were first conceived. Okay, interesting. And at the very top, the fall of Solium. You confirm the stars indicated this exactly. Walfred, sir. How did you know? Walfred smiles back at him, but he sends his thoughts as though he is directing them to you. At you. I too can read, my boy. I too can read, my boy. Ooh, he can speak English. <laughs> or maybe um, whatever language. It is written in the uh, Book of Rites. Well, it would be English for us, I guess. Forbidden though the words may be. Forbidden though the words may be. Okay, don't no need to read that. He's already talking. Or he's done. <laughs> anyway, he turns back to Hedrin. Your reader skills, while rare, are not unique. But as I said, I'll let him do the job. I see that you have something special going here, which benefits the plan. What plan? I thought this was about our freedom. Oh, fear not, my boy. It is indeed. Plenty of time to tell you all about it on the way. For now, however, you look like you can use some rest. And for that matter, so can I, if you'll excuse me. The sensor companions are exhausted from their recent travels, Given the road ahead, you agree it would be best to take the night to recover as much as possible. And so, no new conversations in the wagon? So let's continue our journey. We are off to next. At dawn, Wolfred is already up. He reveals to you a pathway through the woods into the cold, into the cold lands to the north, beyond which lies your next, next destination. Okay, only one choice, which is the Sclorian Shore, and Wolfred reveals, revealed this to be the one path through the woods in town. Alright then. 
the block thickens sort of and now we're in the Sclorian shore looks like a snowy kind of place you get clear of the woods at last and arrive in lands lands grown cold in the shadow of Mount Alodiel you will have to make it all the way to the top in a moment of respite Wolfred calls everyone together to discuss matters pertaining to the rites and the plan to which he alluded. You banded together with a common faith that freedom from the downside is not impossible, am I correct? But, but, let me ask you something. What does freedom even mean to you? He looks in your direction as he asks, defying you to answer. You cannot sense his own thoughts on the subject and only know the truth you, of how you feel. And what does freedom actually mean to me? Doing what I want, not exactly, to free true love, no. Nope. Achieving inner peace, sounds kind of <laughs> uh, philosophical but not my thing. Living without fear, having no master, going where you please. I guess it would be living without fear, I guess. I mean... Doing what you want isn't ex exactly freedom, right? At least to me it isn't. Living without fear, freedom means living life without concern for others' judgment or approval. Yeah, exactly. But a look at the others. Means being able to make decisions on your own terms. No. Uh, feel true love, blah 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 blah. Nope. Having a clear conscience and a carefree heart. No, that's being ignorant. <laughs> Yeah, just kidding. But yeah, it can be, you know, associated with being ignorant as well. As they say, ignorance is bliss. And another one, freedom is answering to no one's will other than your own. Not exactly. Nothing at all, it's just another empty goal to chase to give one's life a false sense of meaning. Go where you please. And living without fear, I guess, is my preferred answer, to be honest. You tell Wolfred that freedom means living without fear, not being subject to persecution or retaliation for one's thoughts and choices. He considers your remarks for a short while. Verity said. Good answer, my boy. I happen to agree. Fear takes hold in freedom's wake. Yeah. We're, uh, we're bros now, Wolfred. <laughs> but fear is a natu natural impulse, is it not? A common feeling we all share from time to time, a deeply rooted impulse to aid our judgment and spur us on spur us on to acts of courage. Yep, I mean, you know, courage is not about, or being brave is not about having no fear at all. It's about, you know, recognizing that you definitely have fear and using that to, to you know, to perform an action. Or to continue with what you're doing, or something like that. <laughs> anyway, enough with the philosophical stuff. <laughs> um, if not for fear, I doubt we could have accomplished very much in life. And just now, we stand upon the brink of accomplishing something vital. He then turns his attention to the whole group. Now, let me tell you all what freedom means to me. Okay, we pretty much have the same. Um, what do you call this? Definition of freedom. Freedom means to live life without fear, just as your reader stated. To be able to indulge one's curiosities and passions, at least the ones that cause no harm to others, without the constant threat of judgment and reprisal. Exactly, exactly, I completely agree. Freedom means not being made a criminal for what you know, or whom you love, or what you choose to think, or not to think. He looks out toward the distant mountains. Within the next few days, your time in exile could come to an end. You could see the commonwealth once more. And you would be exalted there, given the highest honor, the opposite of how you got here. But you will not be truly free, I think. At least, you would become complicit to an ancient system that would deign to cast down others such as you. 
It is a system whose well-intentioned founding principles have long been lost, and the eight scribes, if they are out there still, have made quite clear they shall not intervene firsthand. That is where you come in. He, turn, he turns to you and everyone again, looking to each of you. Long have I wished to gather such a group, that, together, you might see that seeking freedom only for yourselves is too modest of a goal. You share a higher calling now. The plan, the plan then is this. We free each other from the downside through the rights, then we meet up on the other side. We organize. Each new moon at dusk, we join together at the spiral sanctum. We need, as, we need as many of us there as possible. My agents on the other side shall explain the rest. Okay, Spiral Sanctum is the burned down remains of the old, old capital of the Commonwealth. You are plotting a revolt. Ooh, this getting better. Just so, I am asking a lot. You do have other options. Deceit, however, is not one of them. The reader and myself, you know by now that we can see through it. But you need not be a part of this. Nor is it in my interest to coerce you. You may go your own way if you wish. Live out your remaining days here like so many others. So, if anyone among you prefers that, if you cannot see yourself continuing to strive together in the Commonwealth as you are doing here, then speak now. Wolfred pauses for a time, examining each member of the group. No one stirs. Very good. Some of you consider yourselves friends, some others not. But all of you are bound together through the rights, and are intrigue and are integral to our plan. Remember that. You seek true freedom, you will not find it waiting for in the Commonwealth. But together, you can bring it about, both for yourselves and others. That is my promise. Then he lets out a long breath. Breath. That's it. I ask you all to think on this, and let's reconvene along our journey to the summit. Wolfred turns toward the mountains, leaving you to consider what he said, and plot the wagon's northward, northward path. Okay. And so, yeah, I think this is a good time to end this episode. We've finished another right, as well as uh, Sandalwood has also revealed his plan, which is to plot uh, to do a revolt against the Commonwealth, the, in order to obtain not only our own individual freedoms but everyone everyone else's freedoms as well. You know, to live without fear, without prejudice, and all that. And honestly, <laughs> I'm getting more hope now. It's very interesting. So yeah, I think this will serve as a cliffhanger of sorts. So yeah, hopefully I can um, properly pace my videos more in the future so as to make them not only shorter than usual but also very, um, you know, full of content. Not just, just because it's short doesn't mean it's okay and all that. So yeah, do tell me what you think in the comment section and if you like the video, of course, do like it hopefully and possibly subscribe as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.